Yeah, that's my feet. Walking on land with cars and road and dust. I'm on land. <laughs> So before I had arrived at the Marshall Islands, I had been in touch with some teachers and some schools. So I visited some schools, made some new friends, started learning about the history of the Marshall Islands, and saw a basketball court and went to play and I badly uh, fractured my heel. Thankfully I had this lovely stuff to heal me. This is sprouted coconut, one of my favorite foods on the planet. It tastes like foam, sweet foam. <laughs> it's delicious. Oh, this waterproof dry bag is great. Go outside, oh, it's so bright out there. Okay, gotta turn off the radio, climb out of here. Oh, here's my Juro, so nice. Okay, I guess I should close up here. Okay, slide that in there, that. This, should I lock it? Probably don't need to, but I will. Okay, time to paddle into shore. Got the big inflatable sup. This thing is awesome. Okay, got my water bottles. Gotta fill up some fresh water. And as usual, I gotta paddle into the wind to get to shore. It's my neighbors over there and that cool catamaran. They're uh, missionaries from Australia. Okay, and go. Paddle. It's slow going at the start. It's a lot easier to get back to the boat from land. Look at this big boat. Ooh, let's go under it. Nice. Okay, here we go. Back to the dock. Got to carry the sup and the water bottles up here. Say hello to some people. Everybody here thinks I'm crazy. I sort of am. Load my bag on the bike. Load my water bottles on the bike. Go for a bike ride to go find water. Say hello to people. It's pretty crazy here. There's. Uh, most people are driving only less than five kilometers, but I'm the only person I ever see on a bicycle. And the dog. Just one road. Got the open ocean over there on that side. And the lagoon on this side. Some rabid dog along the way too, so I had to speed up there. Maybe 30 meters from beach to beach. The beach sort of runs into a reef right away. See it there. Due to a hurt foot and uh, other things, I spent more time here and I haven't got to explore the other atolls of the Marshall Islands. Well, the weather has unexpectedly shifted and now there is a onshore pretty decent breeze that is likely going to prevent me from sailing out of here today. But good news is that I'm able to test my new gimbaling stove and oven. Uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, it's not even gimbling right now. Oh, no, there it goes. There it goes. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Four burners with a nice big oven. Good times. I started sailing out of here. I was about a mile that way, just beyond that uh, tanker ship there. All of a sudden, my boom separated from the mast. The gooseneck completely came out. This had been... Uh, 
corroded from, I guess, 50 years of buildup, and the screws just popped right out of their spot. So I've had to uh, machine a fix, which meant actually sawing into this piece, cutting a big chunk of the it off. But it's actually uh, much more solid now, and uh, should be good for another 50 years. It's beautiful. So I should be heading out uh, tomorrow morning down the Majuro Atoll towards Kosrai.